Do you think Amsterdam is an accurate representation of the Netherlands? Ooh. Every year, thousands of tourists descend upon Amsterdam thinking they've seen the Netherlands. But is Amsterdam really reflective of the rest of the country? And do tourists only come to Amsterdam just to smoke weed? Why did you come to Amsterdam? To smoke before going to a festival in Brussels. I always wanted to know what's here beyond the red light. So I traveled to Amsterdam to find out. There was this guy that I met at a coffee shop who told me that I need to go to Jordan if I want to see some cool outfits. So we're going there right now. Let's go. Faster than the speed of light. We stretch time. My name is Liana. My version of presentable pajamas. <laughs> this is a very, 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 very old cost piece. Actually, weekday pants. Love which them. Are way too big for me. Leather mules from Arkets. Oh. But they were quite boring, so I splattered some paint on them. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, I love it! Back from a friend. My glasses are from Paulette. I love. got them here in Amsterdam. I moved here and I need new glasses and everyone was raving about Ace and Tate. <laughs> but I found it pretty boring, so... <laughs> Paulette was right next to them and I walked in and I was like... Yeah, oh, gonna be mine? There are a lot of stereotypes about Amsterdam in terms of like the Ooh. weed and the, the red light and everything. Did you have like expectations of what it would be like and then are they different from the reality? For me, tourist places are always underwhelming and I see the charm in it. I see that's like, oh my god, weed, you can buy weed, you can, oh my god, you see strippers and you see like these amazing women and blah blah blah. <laughs> but then really what brings me more joy is walking around places like this. Hey, my name is Stella Bersland and I'm wearing a bag from Stout, an Australian brand, and then a vintage Burberry menswear jacket. Belt from Hermes. An oversized like shirt dress from Cost. Shoes from Arquette. Uh, my necklace is actually made by me. And this oh, wow. is from a market in uh, Florence in Italy. And oh, wow. the glasses are vintage sunglasses from Spain from the 60s. You look amazing. So I came to a coffee shop that someone recommended me here because he was like, there are a lot of fashionable people here. So I'm literally sitting here, which my macchiato, waiting for people to come out of the coffee shop so I can interview them about their outfits. And it's so awkward, but that's what you gotta do. My name is Sasa. Like Jordans. Yes. And the bag is also a vintage bag. I'm not gonna say where the letter is from. <laughs> many people will hate, but it's um, vintage. So that's like actually the neck. I put it just my arm through it. And then that's the sleeve? Yeah, it is. That's I use it as a belt. It's silk. Yeah. This is a vintage bracelet. Yeah, well, this is just very cheap. Oh, what about you? Well, I'm wearing her clothes today. <laughs> she just told me she got all her clothes here. So, Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And this is apparently Dolce Cabana. What? I got this for my birthday for my friends. And I love the details on it as well. The shoes are just Doc Martin. I own them like 10 years. Look at the back. It's all broken. Do you think Amsterdam is an accurate representation of the Netherlands? Ooh. Tell I don't me more. Think so at all, actually. I feel like everybody feels like everybody's smoking weed here. That's not like as I, much. I think 20% of my friends are smoking weed. 20%? Yeah. Everybody is thinking everybody in, in the Netherlands smokes weed. But I don't think it's that many. Okay, so the two girls outside said that they got like all their clothes from here, so obviously I had to come in and check it out. Oh my god. Oh my god. They're so cute. I really like this one. I've been yeah. wearing it for like a year because it was really comfortable and it really looked cool. <laughs> this like was so, so I think I bought it from Barcelona. It's also like a punk store. The bag is from Mushroom Magilla. My name is Martin Michel and my channel is called and my shoes. French brand, Parapoo. Where are you from? We're both from China. China? So, uh, we've been studying here for like four years. So yeah? I was just quite Nice! Where'd you get your really cool hat? I ordered it online. I don't even remember the name of the website, but I ordered it all the way from Ecuador. Shirts, a uh, very simple one just from H&M. Trousers and suit supply. Shoes from a local store here in Amsterdam. And the watch was a gift. It has some scuffs here and there, but I also ordered this one online, just an Amazon order. You look very like 1900s, like elite. <laughs> Do you think Amsterdam is an accurate representation of the Netherlands? No. Can you tell no. me more about that? No, Why? No, no, not at all. Amsterdam, especially the inner city, it's very much oriented to tourism. Uh -huh. It's sort of more liberal, free-spirited culture, I suppose. Yes. The rest of the country is very much different. 
especially in the more rural areas, of course, there's a lot of, you know, all of those crazy people over in Amsterdam, you know, doing all their weird stuff. But it's it, it really depends on where you are. What about like where you grew up? That was further in the north. Amsterdam would be considered a bit weird, a bit, uh, <laughs> a bit different. So I don't know how to ride a bike. <laughs> which is so stupid because I'm in Amsterdam. And so I asked Dominique here to uh, teach me, real Dutch person, <laughs> how to ride a bike. <laughs> Except what is the problem that we are facing right now? We can't find a bike in Amsterdam. What a ridiculous problem to run into. We're surrounded by, uh, you know, a bike parking lot. But a bike rental? Nay. <laughs> I'm like the worst Dutch person ever. I'm just like, I don't know where the bikes are. I can't learn how to ride a bike. <laughs> I can't even smell weed. I can't even smell weed. Oh, awesome. I tried learning how to ride a bike when I was 12, but there was like nobody to teach me, so like never happened. We can try here. We can try here. Oh my god, yes! Wait, wait. Let's blame the bike. It's not me, it's the bike. How did I do, teacher? Great. I'm super proud of you. You're lying. No, no, no. You didn't break your teeth, you didn't break your bones, but I still don't know how to ride a bike. I'm a fake Dutch person. Get out. Breathe that in. Do you smell it? Come on. It's right there. It's weak. Today I wanted a cute, fun outfit for the Rijksmuseum. So I'm wearing a vintage 90s men's blouse that I tied at the front and a 1940s ruffled dress underneath. My pendant is from Ana Luisa and my rings are Le Pepite Doré in Paris, Ana Luisa, Shop Third Tone, and Ana Luisa. I'm also wearing a bunch of earrings from I Don't Really Think You Care. Shoes are from Fila and my cute red bag is from Teddy Blake who is actually sponsoring this video. So I had absolutely nowhere to film this because my hostel is so loud. I'm literally filming this in a coffee shop, but I've had this bag for like a couple of months now and it has held up beautifully and like I take it to so many countries. I've stuffed it in my suitcase and it's still, there's only like a little bit of pilling on the sides just from that. So this is the Bella Vitello 9 that I chose. I love the color. It absolutely matches with like everything I have because it's red. It is a beautiful smooth leather and there's like a really nice suede interior on the inside. What I love about Teddy Blake is how many different varieties of materials and colors and styles that you can choose from so that everything is has that elegant air, but there is enough variety to suit so many different styles. So they're actually having a sale until July 28th where you can get up to 70% off. But if you miss the sale, they actually gave me a code for you guys. If you use the code TBBATCHEVA30, you can get $30 off your order. And thank you so much, Teddy Blake, for sponsoring this video. I'm from Los Angeles. Where are you from? I'm in Los Angeles. Well, I, well, I live in Amsterdam. You know? Oh wow! Okay, so yeah, you are. Yeah. I am an art lover, and I try to share my love for art. Ah, are share. you giving the tour? Yes, I'm going to give a tour. Oh. You know, I'm Van Gogh. Oh, Van. Oh, Van Gogh. <laughs> As you say in Dutch, my hat is from Canada. I cannot live without girls. What painting is on your bag? I believe this is a French painter. Maybe Daubigny. My choices are Margiela. Don't look at my shoes. The best college professor I ever had was a modern art history professor from my community college, SMC. His enthusiasm instilled in me a love for Basquiat, Banksy, Jeff Koontz, and Warhol, and to appreciate rising artists like the kid, whose work really speaks to the ethos of our time, in my opinion. <laughs> professor Donahue, if you're watching, this one's for you. I'm Carla, I'm from Spain. My sunglasses are from my mom. Honestly, all my outfit is from my mother. H and my bag. I bought it at the event. And it matches like your straps. It's yes. like you're all like red and black. Why did you come to Amsterdam? I'm my friends. Hello. Hello. <laughs> that you're I didn't realize until I entered the Rijksmuseum how much Dutch art has shaped me. I used to go to the Getty Museum with my father to look at Rembrandts. He showed me how Rembrandt always played with light, how you can always tell a Rembrandt by the twinkle in their eye. I didn't realize how much Dutch art felt like a part of me until I stood in front of my very first Vermeer and almost cried. It was like I was back in high school English, marveling at all the paintings in the back of Mrs. Heyman's classroom, discovering how big the world really was. I just want to show you a few things that I got from the Rijks Museum because I am such a sucker for museum gift shops. Like I literally go shopping there as if it's like a store. I got this tote bag. It just says Rijks Museum on it. It was like five euros, which I think is really good for something that I'm gonna just like 
like show off and like New York and be like, yeah, I was in Amsterdam. I also got this really gorgeous water bottle. It just says Amsterdam on it with like all the buildings and it's white and it's cute and it's compact. And the last thing I got, which is actually a gift for a family friend, they have a son who's like almost four, the Playmobil of Rembrandt's The Night Walk, which I find so cute. They also had one of like Vermeer's The Milkmaid and I was so tempted just to buy it for myself, but I was like, what am I gonna do with it? Uh, I'm Gloria. I bought these in London with him, vintage. Jarrah's vintage. My mom's old thing. Tour t-shirt from Think. This is free people. And your jewelry? I love Friends it. earring somewhere all over the place. about Utrecht because it is the cutest little city right outside Amsterdam that like if you're going to Amsterdam you should absolutely go to I actually kind of got dehydrated when I came here like I almost threw up last night as much as I want to make a beautiful amazing vlog for you guys I also need to take care of my health so instead I am going to find a few tourists in Central Station like in this area over here because there are so many and I just kind of want to get their perspectives about why they came here and whether the reality of Amsterdam meets their expectations I'm Ezra this shirt from Shy. This one I got from a secondhand shop. Cool. And this one I got from Bershka. And then these Nikes I've had for like three years. Oh, the bag. Oh, it's from a local market. It's it's actual leather. <laughs> it's so cool. Thank you so much. My name is Cloud and my girlfriend. This one comes from Primark, I think. I think it's a pajama top. It's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> these are from Bershka and these are from Bershka. Are you wearing like a, a dog collar? What is that? Oh yeah, that's indeed a dog collar. It has my name on it. Ah! <laughs> I love that. Do you think Amsterdam is an accurate representation Absolutely of the Netherlands? Not. No. <laughs> it's very much made for tourists and with tourists in mind. People think it's an accurate representation of the Netherlands, but that's purely because Amsterdam is all you see as representation of the Netherlands. Uh -huh. What is your attitude to substances? I personally don't do it. I also don't drink anything. Well, it's legal and I think it should be legalized. I think it's way better to have eyes on it yeah. yeah. instead of like people having to do it in secret and then it going completely wrong. Pretty much what he said, except I do use. I don't drink alcohol because I have personal issues with it, but I do smoke weed, I, I do some other substances. I, I do really think it should be legalized because then you can regulate it and it uh -huh. takes away some of the stigma which helps people like, search help for addiction. I love how I like specifically was like trying to find tourists this time and I actually found native Dutch. Hello, my name is Marcel, I come from Paris. Hello! <laughs> Bonjour! I come from uh, Comme des Garçons. Yeah. And this too. And this too. <laughs> <laughs> and the shoes from Gamichi. Oh my god, you look so good! Why are you in Amsterdam? For modeling. I get a job today. Oh, what? Congratulations! Yes, I just finished my job, yeah, so now I'm gonna smoke. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, we don't look cute today. Are you kidding me? You guys are so cute. Hi, I'm Teen. Teen? I'm Maisa. Maisa? I'm happy. Hello! And Hello. where are you from? We are from the Philippines. This is really just from Shein. Dress is from Shein as well. Hijab uh -huh. is just a store in the Philippines. Earrings are from Shein as well. Oh! <laughs> Girl. Bag is from a local store in the Philippines called Coco X Hi, so my. It's from Shein as well. <laughs> My skirt. Oh, from Shopee. Oh, it's Shopee. I know Shopee. Andy. Shop is Shein as well. The bag is from Gucci. Gucci. And your hijab? Oh, it's also from a local store. Also from a local store? Why did you come to Amsterdam? So far, we just visited uh, Europe, but this is so far our best. Really? How come? It's so, so pretty. You know what name is? I'm Xiaolu. I'm from Taiwan. I'm from Taiwan. I'm from Lolita. Oh, in Japan. Why did you come to Amsterdam? Uh, what does that mean? Yeah. Honeymoon. Oh, honeymoon. My name is Yaniko. I'm from Germany. Global ASO. A white shirt from Nike. Vintage store. White Air Force. Yeah, I think ASOS too. Pearl necklace? Oh, it's uh, from my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Does the reality of Amsterdam meet your expectation of what you had in your head? I thought every street is smells <laughs> by um Weed? Yes, yeah. but it's not the truth. Yes, I thought too that everywhere it smells like weed, but yeah, okay. it's not like that. But I think it's more beautiful than I thought. Especially the buildings. Guys are so so friendly. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no. Thank you. Je t'ai je t'ai je t'ai filé d'amour. Remonter les dans 2000. 
Les mains se serrent, les mains se serrent, les mains se serreront fort. My name is Anamai. My head is from ASOS. Rest is from Costas. And Sandra Paris. Shop in Amsterdam. Bag is from Etoile Luxury Vintage. My name is Anik. Hello. My sunglasses are from the Veshka. Sarah. Dr. Martin. Bag is also from Etoile Luxury Vintage. <laughs> and Christina. Bucket hat is from Stussy. Shirt dress is from HM. Cara. Shoes, Dr. Martin. Do you think Amsterdam is an accurate? representation of the Netherlands. No, I don't think so. They don't wear like crazy stuff in other places in the Netherlands. When they live in Amsterdam they're just they can be really themselves. comfortable. Yeah, they can be themselves. Hi Misha. <laughs> Hello. Tie-dye shirt, t-shirt. La. And tie-dye socks. Cute. Both from All Saints. Oh, Tevas for ultimate comfort. Ultra Where are you from? Uh, from San Francisco. Why did you come to Amsterdam? Um, to smoke before going to a festival in Brussels. <laughs> <laughs> 